Hello, it's your boy, the one and only Sir Patrick of the Department of Health. Now, for the last activity in this chapter, we'll talk about the use of biochemical tests, specifically the use of analytical profile index in profiling or identifying the identity up to the species level of your bacterial isolates. So, please watch this video and keep an eye on how to use this colorimetric assay in IDing your organism. So just like activity 1 and 2, activity 3 would also use the same rubric with the same criteria, content, use of language, timeliness, references, and so on. Now, of course, as you have remembered, activity 3 should complement lecture 8 on omics technology for systematics. And as you have remembered from our study guide, we have a required activity for that, the use of biochemical tests, specifically your analytical profile index, the ABS online database. So analytical profile index is a biochemical test kit that can be used for identification of closely related bacterial species. So these test kits usually contains miniaturized chambers which can give no, an accurate identification of microbial isolates that you have. Now, these uh, test kits are, of course, based on standardized and extensive online database. And usually, it's a well-established method of a manual identification of organism up to a species level. So this method of identification provides a standardized, miniaturized version of the existing biochemical test in the lab. No? So each test strip contains chamber with dehydrated media that is usually able to detect the enzymatic activity of the inoculated organism, your microbial isolates. So bacterial suspension is usually inoculated in each of these chambers in the test strip and is incubated overnight within the 24-hour period at air at 36 degrees Celsius. No? This incubation period allows for the meter activity of the isolates to produce certain colorimetric, colorimetric changes and the indirection chamber. And usually, when using this method, you can compute and obtain a certain profile number or a code for your isolates. But sadly, we need access to that online database. And that does not come free. So that's why we're opting for an open, data, open source database like your ABIS database. Okay. In particular, we're using what we call API 20E, which is a biochemical panel for identification of and differentiation of the members of the family Enterobacteriaceae, your Enterobacter family. So the most important thing to focus on here is the color changes that can happen with your isolate. So remember that these uh, chambers will be inoculated with your bacterial isolates. So meaning, you need to pay attention to the color changes in this chamber. If they have these positive color changes, it means that the bacteria can do that metabolic activity or can degrade or can perform that metabolic activity in that certain chamber. But if that color changes is negative, that means the bacteria, the bacterial isolate that you have cannot perform that uh, glucose or gelatin hydrolysis, that urease activity, no? certain things like that. So you need to focus on those colorimetric changes. Now, if you look at the activity file, what I need you to do is to interpret the biochemical test for the API test strip of your four bacterial isolates. So what you need to focus is the colorimetric changes in each reaction tube and record it if it's positive or negative. And you need to skip in the computation for the seven-digit profile code. I need you to visit this um, website. And in this website, you need first to input your name. So I'm going to put a pseudo name here, Aerochrome. That's my in-game name too, sometimes. And tick biochemical identification. And press the arrow to continue. So <laughs> in here, as you can see, 
there are a lot of bacterial families in here, but specifically we're going to focus on Enterobacteriaceae as API 20E is more specialized on Enterobacteriaceae. So as you can see here, this is the tick system that I was talking about. It's a tick system because you need to tick what character or what uh, reactions no, is either positive or negative for your bacterial isolates. So as a bonus for you, I'm going to be doing the first isolate. Okay, so you need to reference if it's positive or negative for that certain chamber reaction. So... And then, and then, and then, after that, you need to cross-reference it or take it, the specific reaction, in your, in this uh, AB, ABIS online database, okay? So you need to take the specific reaction. No? So if it's positive, take ne positive. If it's negative, take negative on the reaction in the ABIS online database, okay? So after taking them, I sped up the taking process. Click continue. Yes. After clicking continue, just wait for a few seconds and the bacterial identity of your isolate will come up. Okay. So I need you to screen cap this plus the tick system that you have created, all the ticks that you ticked, no? So that you can include it in your uh, discussion. Okay, in the paper. Okay, just to recap, what you need to do is to enter the class of organism that you are studying, specifically the Enterobacteriaceae for 20E. You need to take each reaction that you have a data on and press the continue button you know, to create a result. And please take note of that result and your takes, remember? So take a screenshot of the identity of the organism that you have. And of course, the paper should contain the screenshot of the tick. So the ticks that you have ticked on. <laughs> the identity of the isolate. The discussion of the result. And of course, literature cited. So cite the website too, no? Because it's their database that you have used. And the format for the report is the same as with the other activities. Okay, so just some simple reminders. If you can't find certain reactions in your ABS online database but is present in your 20E API test strips, don't mind searching for them because they're not there. No? Give them some slack. These databases are free and open source. No? So you don't need to pay kasi. But that's okay. No, Just don't... Uh, search for them anymore okay so that's all if you like this video please give a thumbs up and see you again for lecture seven and eight this is sir patrick peace out